Small businesses are having to adapt in this time of uncertainty, and that includes in the athletic world. Norman Seawright joins us from his home tonight. Well, this is where sports meets small business and trying to survive. Normally, this is a time of year where baseball and softball players would be training, trying to get to the next level. Playing in college, start a sports training in Shakopee typically would help them out with this, but it's a small staff of nine, and since they can't be in their facility, they had to come up with something else. They kind of sat down. We're like, all right, so this is happening. We kind of have to face this head on. How can we become innovative and create different outlets for these young men and women so that they can continue to train and we can continue to survive as a business as well? The answer turned out to be virtual training. The coaches can analyze movements for pitching and for batting. We're able to come with, up with some virtual offerings where at home you can use some household items or if you just have a tee and a net um, or a ball and go from there and just try to get better remotely without risking the health of your families and our staff as well. So it's been really fun kind of getting creative with it. So you send them video of you doing your thing and then they give you feedback. How are you liking that so far? Um, I think it's actually pretty cool. Like I, I still get the same feedback. Like they're able to still watch me do the same thing. And I just think it's really cool. Being away from that kind of was hard, but luckily I have an unfinished basement. So then I can take videos and send them to her. I sent her a 16 second video and she sent me a 13 minute video back about like all of the things that I could do to help and improve my swing. So I thought that was really cool. Now you spent time playing for the Gophers too. So I'm wondering how do the girls respond to that experience that you have? Everything that happened with Gophers softball recently and how great they've become starting back to 2012 when I was there uh, has really influenced the game of softball specifically. And girls really look towards being able to learn from their home state heroes. and. It's really a cool experience, especially like the first time I did, I didn't think it was going to be that long. I thought it was going to be like a five minute video, her just showing me, oh yeah, your swing, this is it, that's all you have to do. But then she actually like showed me what I do and everything about it and then how to fix it. I think another big thing to note here is that when it comes to women in sports, you're kind of making your own way here. I think for, especially when it comes to women in sport, outside of head coaches and assistant coaches for collegiate athletics, there hasn't really been a salary with benefits opportunity. And I was given this um, and I'm so grateful for it. So as soon as we heard that we might have to shut things down, I think that's kind of the new motivation. STARS is also launching a live webinar series starting on Monday where they help girls navigate through adversity like this and the college recruiting process. So it's a, all of these panelists have college softball experience. They're just trying to do as best they can to give back and, and help these girls out, Liz. All right, Norman, thank you.